Hello and welcome to day 24 of 30 Days of Kin Essentials. We're into our fourth week and our theme this week is Blissful Integration. Today's move is the Sidekick series and Sidekick series adds on to a move that we learned back in week one called Leg Decompression. In Leg Decompression we were concerning ourselves with the experience of that centermost line through our leg or through our spine or through our arm. We call that the fifth line in gyrotonic. And with the leg decompression exercise, we are decompressing through the hip joint, knee joint, ankle joint, opening through all the spaces and joints of the foot. And then we cross over into the figure four. So we maintain all the space we've made and we're just deepening the sense of opening and stretch through the hip, through the knee, through the ankle and we have this kind of whole buoyancy through the whole body. We continue that on now into the side kick where we are, uh, so that addresses um, the femur head moving posteriorly in the hip joint and laterally in the hip joint. And then when we go into the side kick, it addresses the third, a third direction where the femur head has the opportunity to slightly move medially. And then we also wanna have this feeling that the femur head is kind of being drawn out of the hip. Um, the hip joint a little bit. Not out of, but we want to feel, basically it'll give us this sensation of shearing and length and elasticity all through this whole um, groin and adductor area, which is really challenging to address and get to. Um, there's also the addition of the upper body into it and incorporated um, a beautiful sense of rhythm and buoyancy and flow. So it's just a a lovely movement series. So let's go ahead and learn it. And we kind of, kind of, we're already in the in the process there a little bit. We've already learned the leg decompression. So we have this sense of elongation through the fifth line along the floor and then scooping off, like a doorknob handle rotating inside the hip joint. We turn out as, as we bend the knee and cross over. We continue to feel a hollowing through the body as that body hovers over the figure four across the leg. As the leg elongates forward, we give opposition with a deepening back of the seed center. Now the femur head turns a little bit um, in the opposite direction as the leg is swiveling down into its place right beside you. Not behind, not in front, really truly beside you. Now get to know this divot, the side butt divot, which is your greater trochanter. We use that also as a reference point for pro proper placement. We want that to stay in line with the middle of your calf during this, during this exercise. The angle, the, the possibility for a bend at the knee, um, we don't want there to be a super rigid, rigidity through that knee joint. It can kind of actually kind of congest more back up into us. And we want the sense more that the energy is flowing this way. So you can have just, just a sense that the knee has some buoyancy or openness. It doesn't have to bend a lot or, or it can bend a lot if that accommodation is better for your body. Um, also, the sole of the foot is... You, we want the ankle joint to maintain its integrity. So you don't want the sole of your foot to kind of have an angle like this. You want it to, the pinky line will pick up slightly. Sorry, the, the angle of the camera doesn't catch that. So that you can really become aware of the continuousness of the, the leg energy. So if you imagine the energetic pathway coming in through the foot, up through the knee, the hip, kind of passing through the viscera, um, cresting around the outside of the rib cage here. And then we have the top arm the kind of scooping in the armpit and the body has this buoyancy in the side arch and this free arm can place in that greater tro trochanter divot giving that sense of like that that's the center of where this movement comes from yeah so let's just do that on the other side scoop out through the fifth line of the leg turn the door doorknob handle and hover over the figure four cross Scoop out again, and there's an ever so slight doorknob handle turn in the other direction as the leg swivels. Make sure that the foot stays, doesn't, doesn't um, sickle at all. Feel that whole energetic sweep from your foot through your knee, through the hip, through the pelvic bowl, into the cresting on the outside of the rib. You can scoop through the arm, feel the openness of the armpit, let this arm place, and then just find that buoyancy there. There shouldn't be a feeling of rigidity, rigidity at all. There's nice buoyancy, beautiful. Okay, we'll get to put that all together with a nice sense of rhythm and continuousness. <clears throat> We're pairing this move today with, can you guess? Marjoram. <laughs> marjoram, we know by now marjoram has this 
beautiful, like natural, fresh, uplifting quality to it. So immediate, <laughs> it just sort of infuses, comes into the nostrils and just lifts up. And then also with that is a soothing. There's, and it's a soothing that's kind of related to roundness and rocking and rhythm. So it's a beautiful pair with what we're doing. And then inherent in rocking, you know, cradle, rock, rock the baby, in, inherent in that is a, a comfort. So marjoram brings that kind of soothing, warming comfort. The point that we're applying margarine to is K1. We've used this point before. It's when you make, if you try to make a fist with your, the sole of your foot, right at the base of the metatarsal bed, there's a divot that just happens kind of in between, um, in between the second, kind of at the base of the second metatarsal, but kind of in between the second and third. And um, this K1 spot, it's called the bubbling spring or the gushing spring, and it moves, energy throughout the entire energetic system it's a beautiful like it brings a, a surge it, like like the feeling when you take that breath in of marjoram a surge of green uplifting energy this bubbling spring of fresh energy through the body and it's just revitalizing and renewing and invigorating invigorating and it kind of just connects us into pure life force pure bubbling spring life force so let's take our marjoram and we're going to apply to one foot at a time. So you can just apply directly from the bottle onto the foot that you'll use. Come into your figure four and let the finger place on the K1 spot. And quieten into yourself as you take a few breaths and just listen. bottle, place a drop on the other finger, and find your point, settle back into that state of mind of listening and openness and receptivity. Marjoram to your nostrils, you take another inhale. Ah, if you need to cap your bottle, go ahead. And come into our uprightness and feel the energy from your seat center. Scoop the leg forward. Turn out, cross over, hover over the figure four. As you reach forward through the leg, get opposition through the seat center. Carry the leg to one side simultaneous to the arm, reaching through its fullest circumference to come around and find that buoyant pulsation. Three, two, one, through uprightness we go again. Inhale and exhale, scoop. And inhale, lengthen, suspend. And we pulse. Three. One. Inhale, suspend. Exhale. Inhale, carry and suspend. Pulse for three. Center, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, suspend. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, carry. Pulse. Upright. Thanks, you, thank you so much for joining day 24 of 30 Days of Kin Essentials, where we explored leg kick combo, marjoram on point, K1 or kidney one. 
Enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to exploring more with you tomorrow.